A new study has solved a long-standing mystery about why sports helmets and other headgear don't sit well with people in Asia. Researchers based in Hong Kong have found out how designs based on Western anatomy need to be tailored for new markets. Joe Kine sizes up a new standard. After 16 years in the bicycle business, Ha Wai Kuang knows a thing or two about helmets. He says all the headgear available has been designed to fit people who live on the other side of the world. Mainly the helmet is, uh, brand name is a America or in, from, from Europe. So the people like have a choice, the large or extra large. Otherwise, they will cannot fit for his hand. Yes. <laughs> so they have to have oversized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oversized yeah, yeah. helmets. Oversized. Asia's bicyclists are not alone. The same awkward fit troubles many others who rely on life-saving headgear. Everyone from ice hockey players to motorcycle riders must settle for helmets which aren't quite right. But while riders and shopkeepers have long known there's a problem with fit, the design of helmets has not changed. Now new scientific research is helping manufacturers understand that one shape definitely does not fit all. The study was done using sophisticated scanning equipment taken to six cities around China. About 2,000 people, young and old, volunteered to don a nylon cap and sit still for precise measurements of their skulls. Roger Ball is an assistant professor at the School of Design at Hong Kong's Polytechnic University. He set up the research group SizeChina.com, which now has a mechanical model of the average Chinese head. We have this sort of pronounced ridge here. And in the Chinese head, it's much rounder at the top and tends to be flatter through that area. So in a Western head, it's quite smooth and quite oval. But in the Chinese head, we have these two sort of corners appearing here. But the critical one and the most important one is the actual shape of the head. If we look at the Western head, it's called a, what we call a long oval. And then the Chinese head is much rounder. If you imagine you create a shape that fits this, it's not going to fit that. And as a result, the people who wear those helmets are going to have headaches. The million U.S. dollar project is expected to have huge implications for those setting their sights on China and other markets in Asia. There's your head for helmets, head-mounted head displays, that kind of thing. Then there's the whole area of your eyes and nose for sunglasses, prescription glasses. And then the third area is your mouth. So if you want to design a better fitting a face mask for, for bird flu or SARS, you have to design on a Chinese uh, mouth and nose. So it won't be long before new designs take away one of the most common excuses for not wearing helmets. And once they fit, the challenge will be using your head and remembering to put them on. Joe Kynes, Star News Asia.